This is a quick video on how to use the two ton KM hot box. First thing first, come over to the battery disconnect, turn it to the on position, undo the latches from underneath, open up your control box, and you're gonna have the control panel. Now you gotta wait for it to go through its uh, settings, which is about 45 to 60 seconds uh, for the screen to go clear. It's preset at 325 degrees Fahrenheit, and it will stay at that temperature, fluctuating the diesel burner on and off throughout the day. Uh, there's no real need to increase or decrease temperature. That's pretty well temperature for hot mix. While that's loading, just to go around the box, at the back, we have our two latches. We got the plant open those up and then come over here where we've got our arm and with a single hand you can lift the box all the way up and then now you're good to go into the asphalt plant as you can see it's nice and clean it's been pre-sprayed down with some diesel make sure you do that every morning before you get to the plant just so the material slides out. To get your material out, just open up your chute. All right, you can lock in place with that pin there, and then you can close it. Batteries in here. Here's your plug plug it in at night so basically once you see the KM screen you just gotta tap the screen all right then you're gonna hit the burner enable button and that's gonna turn the burner on So right now you can see that it's saying that the asphalt temperature is 55 and the asphalt set temperature is 325. The burner just kicked in and now it's burning and it'll slowly start increasing the temperature. As you can see right now, it's already going up. Now, if this does get low voltage throughout the day, it will turn the unit off but it will get 12 volt power from your truck as long as the 12 volts working on your truck through the uh, seven-way RV plug but basically if you find that 325 isn't hot enough or it's too hot you just go to the set point increase decrease so it's a 324 we can increase it to 325 or go down it'll go down right once it reaches 315 degrees Fahrenheit, it'll reignite to keep the material hot all day. The rest of these, option one, option two, do not touch. And then you can just hit the button to go back to the main screen, but if you wanna figure out what temperature it's at, you just hit temperature settings. All right, and then we can turn it off. That'll turn the burner off. And the fan will run for some time to help get the hot gases out. And then once you're done with that, once that's done doing its cycle, come over here and turn the battery disconnect off to the left. 